So today I acquired two polypropylene buckets, one that has a handle that you can see on the right, and that has litre markings up to 20 litres. The one on the left doesn't have litre markings and doesn't have a handle, but does have somewhere where we can put some rope uh, to be able to lift it up and uh, pour it out. And that is a 40 litre uh, container. And they are made of polypropylene, uh, which melts at 160 degrees centigrade. However, even the worst kind of polypropylene uh, will melt at uh, 130 degrees centigrade. So whilst that's not a problem probably for the steam sparging, it might be a problem for the immersion heater, which should arrive on Monday or Tuesday next week, and we can do a test for that. And what I'll do is I'll create a standoff for the immersion heater so that it can't touch the sides of the plastic bucket. Now, um, the reason we're stopping, or I'm looking to stop at 40 litres there, is that our um, uh, highly accurate uh, scale is uh, go, only goes up to 44 kilos so the weight of the bucket and so forth and the water in there in the 40 litre container I think we'll probably put something like 38 litres in there um, will mean that it will work uh, suitably but the uh, the depth of these buckets is appropriate for the uh, immersion heater that we have. If it goes any deeper then it won't be really getting to the bottom and it'll be kind of like uh, sort of dangling halfway through. So um, going for round buckets so that we can stir them and uh, so you know maybe we can try it in 15 or uh, 16 litres in the uh, 20 litre bucket or 38 litres or something uh, in the 40 litre bucket. Anyway, that's the buckets for the bucket test.